I hate pompous art critics, I hate jobs by appointment and this entire stupid system. Smile, work, and keep nodding. I can't wait for this to be over. What, you don't like Soviet society? I don't like it when people are happy because somebody up above ordered them to be. Isn't that how it should be? Happiness is for everyone, right? That is a very one-sided way of thinking. Happiness is a unique handcrafted product. Each happiness is a personal masterpiece. It cannot be mass-produced in a facility, even if it is facility 3826. I'm kind of surprised to hear this from a concession stand attendant. More one-sided thinking? What if I have a PhD? Hmm? Didn't think of that, did you? Do you think that if I work in the theater cafeteria, I'm only allowed to know things like quasi, releve, attitude, and à la seconde? Could have been a happy man, Major. Retire. Get yourself a, a Katya or a Tanya. I mean, I could have done the same, but I didn't.
Mercer is the only one who knows the code for this door. Damn his eyes! So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not. But if you find Simich, you put him down like a fucking dog. You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch. That will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps hammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him. Uh, what was it? Zero, six, fifteen. Stefan, this is nuts. You've gone too far here. Stefan, my name is Stefan, not Stepan. And what exactly have I gone overboard from, Maris Rudolph? The ship of decency? The only ship of decency we have to worry about is our patron's wishes. What do we always say in the Soviet Union? All in the name of man for the good of man. And these men need to walk out of here with smiles on their faces. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. You're a fine artist, and you've got a bright future ahead of you. Don't get in your own way, or the robot will push you to the sidelines of history. Okay, you can go now. Shoot!
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sentinel says, seek him, and you can't disobey. That's why. So, I'll try to reach you one last time. Release your creativity. Use the right side of your brain. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. Ecarte with the right leg. Try again. Give her a command. First arabesque. Try again. Give her a command. A la seconde, arms free. Done already. We're done here. Oh my, you're talented. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Clear sky, carefree bird song, and all the comforts of home. Batemont told you want to hear arms free. Footfalls of the robot army marching against. Anything else worth checking out? Stand. Down. Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude. Enough for now. He's a light with sunsets raging crimson. Now comes the dark. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah. Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a no command, would you? I, like this. I don't know what she wants. Tell me, P3. Why do you assume that these are the toes? Cross her in the fourth position. Because Big arms I'm and an evil incarnate and I program Try another them that way? <sighs> Attitude? Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. If I say, arms upright and loose in an allongé. Sometimes you think you're gaining on your nemesis. That's enough of that. You within your grasp soon enough, and then everything will be happiness, smiles, and rainbows. You have no idea how insidious your real enemy is. And not even sentimentally understand this. I pushed that body. I can feel it beginning to decompose. Enough! Turn it off! I don't want this! Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. What the hell was that? Charles? I don't know what you mean, Comrade Major. The chirper you found is broken and silent. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Ah, I don't really get this stuff. Wanna give it a whirl, Charles? Passe. Let's try a different one. First arabesque. Let's try a different one. 
Classe in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Open your eyes. Okay, that's enough. Dog, why can't you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Sechnov is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. Fine. You win. The time this was supposed to be a real show. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is gonna kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Please select the desired procedure. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case one? You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea? Oh, to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. 
That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. But I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House of Bob. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. Regret and self pay will be your lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Today is the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young girl is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing wrong with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! You? Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey you! Yes, you with the dumb face! Get over here! Who died and made you king? Manners! I am Stefan Lustoshkin! Your t- What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Uh, we're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex. Located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot, given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. So, what will it be, Major? Authorization, Major Nichaya.
Retrieving data. Enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end, foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with Beta 1 and Beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Did I hear right? Find You've attracted too much attention, Major. Things are about to get ugly. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. <laughs> 